All right, so I am not. Oh wait, there's my audio. Cool. Damn it. Actually, could you do me a favor? Is there any way for you to mute Animal Crossing, at least for um, for what you're sharing? Oh yeah. Um. Uh. One second. I don't. I don't know if it's getting it from my mic or from the video capture device. I think I said it's from mic. I don't hear it now. Go and talk. Okay, yeah, I just I just muted it. Oh, cool, sweet. That works. Um, because like um, so how I have how my how my setup works is really dumb. Is it like weird workaround? Um, so I, so I have the audio out of my monitor plugged into the microphone in on my desktop. Mm -hmm. And then it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice workaround. My, uh, I guess my setup's kind of easy. It's just, um, USB 3. Did you, you stream Doom through the, uh, through, through, through Discord or can you, is that too much for your processor or? You know what? Since it's running off my console, I probably could. Oh yeah. But it's it's on my yeah. Twitch at least. I mean, like I could react in real time and then be like, "Wow!" Oh wow! Wow! Like, exactly. We're together. Exactly. Uh, let's see. How would I go about <laughs> doing such You're using a thing? OBS, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Um. So then, just um. Uh, what I do is that I, uh, I right click the window in OBS and then make, uh, and I click windowed projector preview. Oh, you know what? I'm using Streamlabs OBS, so it might be a bit different. What if, I, I, I doubt that would be very different. All right. So I right click w what in here? Uh, just the, 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 the window, Let's the program see. window. You said create output projector or? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and where do I put this guy? And then I I usually just full screen it, put it to the back, open up Discord, and then select select the window, and then it works. How do I select the window in Discord? Is there an option for that or? Um, so let's see. So on, in our voice call, you see right next to leave call, right next to the crossed out phone for camera. Yeah. There's the more screen share options. Turn on screen share or you turn on screen share. Sorry. Okay. And then, and then you can select a window. Okay. I see what you're going for. Yeah. And then you select the output. Okay. This thing is not picking up. What I was okay. Let me see real quick. Mm. The All right, mail? there you go. I think that should work. Um, I do need to see right here. I can lower this and get a little behind the scenes view. Cause it's going off, it's going off the whole screen versus just yeah. like the window for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. How you like in uh, Animal Crossing though? Cause for me, it's always been more of a. So I've, I haven't I've not played a single second of it. Hmm. But um, God, fucking things. I needed I needed its chillness. Yeah, it seems very chill, so it seems like either the thing I'd get very addicted to, or just wouldn't be my thing. So I just kind of avoided it. Because, like, there's stuff to do, but it's a game about vibes, so... Just vibing. Every yeah. Everyone on Twitter is going... I wouldn't even say nuts, because that's kind of contrary to what it is. It's just chilling. They're just, they're just loving it, dude. And I'm, just... I'm happy that people are enjoying it. They're just, just, they're just fucking vibing, man. Do you see that the official uh, IGN review did the uh, opposite yeah. uh, artwork? Yeah, it was, it was, I enjoy. There's too much Isabel in the 
predator armor. Yeah. There's not enough. There's not enough, um, Mr. Blaskowitz. <laughs> Blaskowitz. Um, uh, uh, BJ Blaskowitz the third. Mm -hmm. Um, in in beachwear. <laughs> What's the little medallion on him? Is that something from Animal Crossing? Like the little Mary's badge or something? Oh, it's just a little, little yeah, it's just a little badge, yeah. Okay. So I never did play um, New Leaf. Is there necessarily like any end game to uh, Animal Crossing? Like some kind of like ultimate goal, like the biggest house or max happiness or anything like that? So. There's the biggest house. Mm -hmm. There's a, like, so that's sort of one, kinda. But mm -hmm. not really, really. Right. There's, um... Uh... This game, more so than all the others, is there's, there's, uh... There's an aspect of it that's, like... You know... Because you're starting with practically nothing in this one. Mm -hmm. So you're actually creating a village. Right. Or only like the other ones, you know, you start out with a village, you already got the museum, you got town hall, you got XYZ. Here, it's literally, you start off on literally you're an island, you got a tent, mm -hmm. and there's another tent over there that you can make stuff in, and that's it. Oh, wow. And two, and two, ex and two extra, and two other villages. Okay. And then. As you start building up, you, you start getting more and more villagers. I tried describing it to my girlfriend as something that she'd probably be into. Is it is it a bad comparison to say it's like The Sims, or is that pretty apt? It's more personal than The Sims. More personal. I would say Animal Crossing is one of the most personal games, like, made. And that you have more of a direct effect on what happens, or it's just infinitely more chill, like you feel the vibes more? Like, you feel connected to your village and the villagers and what you do more so than I think any other game. Okay. Let's see. When a villager leaves, you actually feel sad. Why do they leave? Just like, ah, I'm bored of here? Or they're just like, like I, I'm just gonna go um, do my own thing. Yeah, yeah, it's just time for a new, time for a new point, point in life. That's both endearing and depressing. Mm -hmm. Not get enough ammo. Not good. To the PlayStation Store. The Sony PlayStation Store. Don't forget. Cause I, I, I made a European account so I can play a game I got for free. Ah. Hell yeah. I'm freaking out of ammo. This sucks. Oh, yeah, it's now. This is awesome. And so now Fuck. I can go ahead. Damn it. Redeem code. Uh, let's just load a checkpoint. Fuck this. Screwed myself over too bad. And then once I do this, I'll be able to actually watch this stream. I'll make I'll do this. Why is it? Uh, sorry. Oh, Discord, Discord's doing its fun thing again. This is kind of dying a little bit. Need to 
copy this. On the fly editing. Let's see. I did put this. Before they find out. Oh, why is it freaking tied together? I'm just trying to do. Because I want a different audio output for games on PC. I want a different audio output for Discord. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the fucking ass, isn't it? Or you know what? That's probably because they're tied to the same fucking thing. I gotta make a new source. Audio input? No. Audio output. Okay. There we go. Sweet. Okay, that works. Uh, I think I had that like a 916 though. Okay, sweet. Alright, I should try this challenge now that I actually fucking will have ammo. It's a pretty good prerequisite to follow. <laughs> and you said you're not too big of a fan of shooters, right? I just never really played them. Or are you more like picky? Like you won't play like a average, but you'll play like, like a Halo or something. It's just, it's just that I just haven't had experience with them for a, a large period of my life. You know. Mm -hmm. The first, just... I think most people I know, their first one is like either GoldenEye or Half Life. Mine was Half Life, but I didn't like really get into them until Halo. And then just like so many of the bigger games coming out were shooters. So I just kind of gravitated towards those, I guess. Like, honestly, it sounds weird and foreign to me that like someone's just like us. Oh, not my thing, but I completely acknowledge that I am might be the outlier on that. It's just like, you know, just shooters just wasn't... It's, like, it's just like fighters aren't my thing, but he, giant... Crowds of people freaking uh, love them. It's not. It's not that shooters aren't my thing. I like them. They're fun. Mm -hmm. It's just that I just, you know, just, you know, the, the circumstances of you know my early period it was just I just didn't have them. That's it. Right. So I think I would. Wait, no. Halo One came out two thousand one or two. Halo Two was two thousand four. Um, yeah. So I didn't have an original Xbox, so if anything, the shooter I played the most growing up was, um, you know what, I'm going to turn, open my window. Open that window so I can get that sweet, sweet coronavirus. But um, the shooters I played the most at home were probably Battlefronts 1 and 2. Or, uh, and you could feel free to fucking rip on me for this. Uh, Dirge Cerberus, the fucking horrible I have Final Fantasy VII spinoff. That adores Dirge Cerberus. I really want to replay it for like a fucking stream or something, because I have not touched it since like 2006. I have a friend who absolutely loves Dirge Cerberus. Like, unironically? Oh, no, ironically. Okay. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> but he loves it. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Let's see, kill these guys. But uh, I would go to my cousin's house all the time and just replay Halo 1 and 2, the campaigns, like every single weekend. Um, but I didn't really get a chance to do it on my own until I got a 360 in like 2008. But so Halos definitely has the, uh, mm -hmm. the lasting effect on you. Yeah. That's kind of like my baseline. Because even though I did play Half-Life, I was kind of like, eh, it's whatever. It was more about... I don't even want to say the world. But it was more than the shooting. It was like platforming and puzzling. Yeah. 
whereas Halo had much more of a focus on that. And I have a very controversial opinion that I don't think the level design in Halo 1 or 2 are very good whatsoever. You're just kind of big Ooh, open. I just, as, someone, as someone who just played Halo 2. No, 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 no. You're right about Halo 1. You're completely correct about Halo 1. But as someone who just beat Halo 2, I'm, I'll disagree with you on that one. I don't know. It's like the, the last level I played on stream, it was uh, you're playing as the Arbor. You're in the Forerunner facility trying to find the Index. And just like that entire level is just like copy pasted. Go towards the ends of this hallway. Go left or right. Drop down the freaking uh, little thingy. I, there's some levels I do enjoy in there. I like. I enjoy the entirety of. Um, I forget the name of the, se the second level where you're in New, New Mombasa. I, I love the level design of that. But there's a lot of them. They're so copy pasted, and it's kind of weird that a lot of those come when specifically when you're fighting the flood or when you're in a foreigner facility which is suiting from a diegetic point of view but from a gameplay perspective i'm like oh this is kind of boring is it diegetic i've always used it in that context it, it makes okay. sense for the context of the world i have two but every time i've done it in my in my brain i'm like is this right yeah, I kind of do the same thing, but it, in, in my brain, at least, it makes sense. I think most people are at least yeah. willing to overcome the semantics of it. Yeah. Um, but uh, I would say that the... Um, what graphics are you playing on? Um, for Doom? Oh, this is on... Oh, for, um... Oh, I mean uh, Halo 2. Um, for yeah. the for the majority of it was anniversary. I was yeah. kind of swapping yeah. back and forth, but it's true to the art style and it just looks better. Exactly. So it's like yeah, might as well. Yeah, way better than Halo 1. God, Halo Halo 1 is just Halo 1 anniversary is such a disappointment in like every single yeah, way. Honestly, I just prefer playing Halo 1 with the older graphics. I don't give a yeah, shit. 100. It just yeah, it, same. art style is just better. Yeah. Yeah, but like it, the, like the like it looked, but with uh, Halo Two, it looks better, and mm -hmm. they kept the visual identity. Yep. So it just looks good. And there's like no point to switch back, honestly. I mean, it's it's kind of yeah. interesting. Like, oh, this is how it used to look, but yeah, it's it's, it's really, it is it is a it is effectively replaced it in every single regard. And like Halo Three, it already looks fine Ooh. as is. I'm surprised how good it holds Halo, up. Like, like they, they just Chief's armor looks that good still. And it's it's just up res. They didn't, I don't believe they did any like texture work. No, no, it's just up res. Like skin, you can tell with skin. Yeah, dude. If I can't see the fucking skin pores on someone's face, <laughs> I remember that was a big thing with like PS3 with like fucking uh, Kratos and God of War 3. But, um, what was I saying? Let's see, how do I get to you? Let's freeze you. I didn't even, I actually saw this on Reddit. You, you get like two different kinds of grenades in here. I, I thought that they were on the same cooldown timer, but they're completely separate. So now I'm just <laughs> blowing everything up. That's great. That's awesome. Thank you, random Reddit post too. Is that enough? Are you trying to buy something in there? I think I, I, think I just sold off my house. Oh shit. Congrats, dude. I paid dude. off my house. Yeah, I paid off my mortgage, everyone. I did wow. it. Wow. Paid wow. off your little studio. <laughs> the soundtrack in here actually pays a lot more homage to the, uh... I'm sorry, homage. I always see home, I say, ah. Pays homage to the, uh... C original C two games. C C For me, you still got it wrong. <laughs> I did? How, how do you say? Homage. Homage. 
Homage. Homage. You don't the H. Ah, homage. Damn it, my bad. <laughs> I'll take the L on it. Shit. Where the fuck these shield guys? <laughs> Let's see. Rockets. It's gonna be really weird going back to 2016 Doom after this. Yeah, that's why I'm kinda happy I went with Animal Crossing 2. Cause, like, I beat 2016 Doom, but I only, like, I, I just beat it. Right. You know? I kinda wanna go back and, like, get all the cool things. I got, I got the friggin' Platinum on PS4, and, and most of them weren't that bad. There's, like, some annoying multiplayer ones, cause I don't really play multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't. I plan on even looking at it. Yeah. It's supposed to be a bit better in here because it's asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a pretty good job finding all the secrets, though. I missed one up there, apparently. This is Dr. Elena Richardson. Log in. I wasn't a fan of the UI changes because this is like thematically just green freaking hexagons everywhere. Oh, it's funny. I think it's hilarious. I, I love it. I think it's suiting for the tone. Like they just straight up have like extra life icons just floating around or fucking uh, floppy disks. So it, it knows exactly what it is. But, yeah. I, but just my original thoughts with the 2016 Dooms um, menus were just a lot simpler to navigate. This mm. one's got a lot more like sub menus and everything. Actually, oh, I keep forgetting to fucking upgrade my shit because I'm already pretty decked out. Gatling gun. Kill five enemies during a single turret deploy ten times. That I can do if I had ammo. This one restricts your ammo a lot more than uh, 2016. Like, you, you constantly have to use your chainsaw. Yeah, I think it's because um, the, the, la la the last of the chainsaw auto-refills. I think it always at so, least has, like, one in its disposal. I mean, like, like I think I think there's, like, a timer for it to come back. Yeah. I haven't been able to chainsaw, like, any of the bigger enemies. It says, oh, you need more fuel, like, maximum capacity, but I haven't seen any upgrades for that. My god. That was the best part about um, Doom 1, was just like, alright, this chainsaw is now the problem solver. Mm hmm. Oh, that big man's a problem over there. I'll solve him real quick. <laughs> it is so weird seeing the difference from HDR on my TV and no HDR on my stream output. Oh, you notice it? Mm hmm. Interesting. I. I still don't have a fucking like, 4K TV or anything, so I don't have. I'm surprised how fucking cheap they are. You can get a pretty decent size 4K HDR for like 200, 300 bucks. Yeah. <gasps> we uh, we don't know how to access Sam. the cortex. It's all <laughs> We couldn't figure it out. Oi, Vey, it's Sam. He got Here, fucked up, dude. Dancing mops in there. Making mops as fast as he can. Well, he did screw over the Doom guy last second. Last game, so. He kind of has this coming. Oh, is that? I think this guy killed like other freaking. Uh, not Sam? Doom guys. No, Sam's a robot. I think this guy is someone who is very good at killing people who are the same arm. What do they call them? Praetor? Praetors? It's, it's P R A E. Praetor. Okay. Praetor, yeah. There's a lot more emphasis on story in here. Uh, well, I, I like it. It's interesting. Mm hmm. Keep him at mid. These tips are pretty specific too. 
I like fighting game tips. Let's see. Um, I win. I wanna, how about I just fuck? Oh, you blocked that. Yeah. I would start playing, but um, what the there's fuck? a bit of a problem. If I were to do that, what would that be? <laughs> so, so we're not doing that. <laughs> I, had that, I had that issue for a while, but so it's it's pretty convenient that I'm in a very controller centric mood as of late. I mean, this is this is my fight stick. Oh, that's your. I'm sorry. I thought that was your keyboard. No. Okay, I'm supposed to attack him when he's flashing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Shit! 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 Me a load. Fuck. Okay, this is actually a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Uh, ammo? Seeing this my other friend, like man, that's some intense neon feed we've seen for the entire game. Basically. And chainsaw someone. Yeah. Fuck. Let me do uh get off my nuts. Oh, there we go. I'm surprised how close I'm, I get to dying even on normal. Fucked us over and he got fucked up. Well, apparently in here, um, he's going against the rest of the UAC because they're all fanatics or whatever. Kind of like uh, I forget the name of the, ch the woman's name in the original uh, Olivia Pierce. Um, so now they're saying like, oh, yeah. he's a he's a heretic. Wow. He's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I was just gonna say Tilda Swinton. <laughs> Kira Yoshikage. Does a switch take uh, fighting sick inputs? Uh, I got an adapter. <laughs> that, that, that just goes poop. And then, um, uh, it makes it, 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 can, it turns basically, it, it works for any Xbox controller. And apparently with a firmware update on the adapter, I can make it work for PlayStation, but I've just been too lazy to do that. I have location for Xbox you works, so who cares? Yep. I got mine. There are no known pathways that lead there, Dr. Hayden. The BFG 10,000, designed by Dr. Samuel Hayden as part of the anti demonic defense grid. Let's see, what do you got on your switch there? Dragon's Dog? I couldn't get into it. Oh. I played like four hours when it first came out. I'm just like, eh, just whatever. Yeah, Dragon's Dog. Yeah, it takes like seven hours for Dragon's Dogma to actually start, and I, I find like I bounced off it like four times, mm -hmm. and I finally got it. I was like, oh, that's how I oh, was. This game's awesome. 
That's how I was with Dark Souls. I, I played it like freaking four or five times. I couldn't do it. I didn't come back to the series until uh, Bloodborne, and then I went to Dark Souls two. Like like Dark Souls one is the last Dark Souls game that I beat, and I beat every single other Souls game. Dark so, Souls one, the I went, first half I think is up there with the greatest video games ever made, and then the second half is unfortunate. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think the entire Seath the Scaleless level, the castle, I, I'm not a big fan. Like, man, like, when you're going through that beginning, and you go to, um... I think the beginning's great. It's, it's perfection. I think, honestly, it's, like, near perfect. I think t 2 has a better later half, because you, once you get in the groove of 2 and you're just like fast traveling all over the place, I I love it. That's fair, I, though, I, I do think that, granted I haven't looked at modern 2, all I know, all I remember from the second half of 2 is that one place with the uh, homing, the, uh, the, the homing blasts, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, there, there's so much bullshit in one. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting pissed off thinking about it. The freaking uh, archers in Anor Orlando, when you're trying to go up the thing. Well, just uh, don't stop. I got stuck on that that single part, like legit, like an hour. I was like, oh my god. Don't stop. I tried everything. <laughs> I tried dashing. I tried knocking him off, but the other one would shoot me, and, and I'm like. I wouldn't die from it, but the but the force of it would send me off, and that would kill me. I'm like, fuck. How does that uh, run on Switch, by the way? Uh, Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. Beautifully. Nice. It's pretty much it's 1080 30. Um, pretty much stays that almost entirely. Mhm. Mm and it's a pretty big game, so it's really it's really. So like the good like the two big open world games to pick, it's probably this and Skyrim. I think Skyrim's great on the Switch. The only issue I have and oh, I guess I guess this, this is on there now. That's true. Yeah. But the only issue I have with Skyrim and this actually I forget what other game has an, is bad with this. The brightness options suck, and so if you're even oh. like if you're not like under like fluorescent lights. Or like in some amount of dark, you like you can't see shit in the dark sections of the game. Like if you're in a cave, it's like you're, you're just out of luck. It's kind of cool. I hope, or I hope rather, um, I hope because like my biggest problem with Skyrim, at least for me, is that I, I really want to use like some some cool stuff. I want to use like mage light and candlelight. But I have no need to because it's not dark enough for me to need to use them. <laughs> I know. Pe when okay, whenever you're playing like a horror game or like even Resident Evil, do you typically follow the brightness suggestions or do you just do what you want? I go two ticks above. See, I always tend to. I always go two ticks above. I always tend to do it exactly where they tell me because I think it's good, it's atmospheric. But then, yeah, at some point, I usually wind up doing it a tick or two. Because it's just like, okay, this is nice, this looks beautiful, but in terms of playability, I can't see what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So if so if the darkness on Skyrim and Skyrim on Switch is like where you have to use like a torch, mm -hmm. that's I, I I would I would enjoy that. Okay. It's weird to think though that Saints Row, Saints Row the Third is on Switch. That's weird. Honestly, that's one game where I try not to be like a mouse snob or whatever. And I, I originally played on 360, then PS3, then PC. That game's just way better with the mouse. I'm gonna say something controversial. Uh oh, All go right. for it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Those those games are cool 
and they're fun, but they're bad. Yeah. They're they're good, they're dumb bad. fun. Those are those are objectively bad video games that just happen to be kind of fun. <laughs> what did I just? <laughs> oh, what a jackass! Doom guy does not give a shit. Yeah, no, I, I would agree with that. They're still fun. I still played all of them, so I really hope that um, Saints Row Five is a thing, so my character can continue to live. Honestly, that's why I played so much of them is be specifically because of my character. I think it just went with one of the default looks. That's just kind of the way I play most stuff. But. I, I, but like, but there's a fact that like you know like your 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 creative character is a character in the in the show in the the game you know yeah I, don't, I guess that's just never appealed to me like whenever it comes to like any kind of like cosmetics I'm just like I don't know give me the default it doesn't matter to me and as much Normally as as, I agree. as much as some people would uh there's gonna be a big lefty sjw move i think i have the luxury of that because i've seen my skin tone represented enough to the point i don't give a shit i think yeah. being able to customize it to have people to have it represent um your background is a very powerful thing normally i agree i, I somewhat agree with you um uh but the fact that your character is actually a character and not just a, a, a person that's there that just happens to be able to do everything amazing, mm -hmm. but is like a character with motivation and like want. I mean, it's kind of just happens to choose his voice and face. Made me care a lot more about it. Just the fact that you could change what he looks like, because he kind of responds no. the same. That you respond the same way, whether it's the voice. No, no, but the, no, the, no. The fact that they're actually a character. Yeah. Because, know, okay. I I don't like it. I prefer. Yeah. I I agree with you. I think it's better when you build a character and there's still actually a character versus just like a blank slate who maybe has exactly. like some text responses. Exactly. Cause like your your character in Saints Row is not a blank slate. Mm -hmm. You just happen to be able to make his face and choose his voice. Those tiny little things are nice. I know um then they just have a voice option in Saints Row three or four, which is like Nolan four. North. Nolan North, yeah. <laughs> So on the nose, I love it. It's not even on the nose, it's the whole fucking nose. How did I not get this thing? Kill all those dudes. Fuck, I'm gonna reload the checkpoint, that's bullshit. Oh, did you just jump? Oh, I thought that was Skyrim for a second. I'm like, oh, those textures look familiar. Oh yeah, this game isn't... So the thing about this game is that like it's not strictly Skyrim too. Mm -hmm. it, it feels more like it's, Dark Souls. It's I remember it being like, kind of on the harder side. It's actually more like what if Monster Hunter was Skyrim. I still have yet to play any amount of Monster Hunter. This is a good like little introduction. I know I know Monster Hunter World's still on frickin' uh, Game Pass too. So I don't really have any excuses. Monster was great. I played it before it was good. <laughs> oh, there, was there a point where it was bad or just when it was less oh, popular? Every, oh no, no, like every Monster Hunter game kinda sucks until world. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, every single one of them just kind of sucks. Controversial opinion world. over here. No. Oh, really? The, the fan base agrees? <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, the fan base just likes it, even though they suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're bad, they're clunky, they're hard to get They're hard to get into, but you can do some fun stuff. Is it inaccurate to say that it's just kind of like a loot grind and so you can fight tougher monsters so you can get better equipment so you can fight tougher monsters yeah that that is it though the 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 joy of fighting the monster isn't just that it's hard but it's also like an actual boss right you know 
they have actual attack patterns and tells and things you have to pay attention to in order to, in order to maximize the amount of damage. Okay. I see. I think I would like that aspect of it. Mm hmm. And then maybe like, not so oh, much the grinding. Like, oh, it's wagging its tail, you know, that it's about to jump. Mm -hmm. Get away from it and things like that, you know? I'm surprised how much freaking. Uh... Uh, Jedi Fallen Order went down that road. It's basically Dark Souls. Yeah. yeah. So I've said this a lot of times, but I'll say, I'll say it again. I really like the fact that the, the, the Jedi get like the slow Dark Souls S game, mm -hmm. and the Sith get the more co frantic, combo oriented, character action light game. Yeah, it's, pre Force it's pretty suiting. Although, I would say he basically turns into a Jedi halfway through the game. Well, you can choose that. Right. that that's kind of like the last second decision. What is it? If you go good, Palpatine kills you. Resistance is born. Because, you know, we got to retcon this guy into the fucking fabric of Star Wars lore. Where did the rebel symbol come from? It's very important. Um... I think the bad ending was it you ch you try to kill Vader and he turns you into like a robot. Yeah. And then and then you and then you become you you're fully his apprentice and then the DLC you go to Hoth and kill on solo. Yeah. Spoiler Those uh, I don't you know what? I'd probably have to play the 360 version again because the PC version is not good <laughs> at all. Yeah, it was very, very buggy for me. I don't know if one or two is on Game Pass. I think it's one, or, or maybe I bought one. It's I'm not sure. Yeah. Um. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, did I just get that challenge? Hells yes. That was it. Was whole fun. I took a massive break from the game because there's a bunch of stuff I just don't remember. <laughs> that that's why I was like, I know I'm gonna play an RPG. I'm like, I just gotta finish it and like. Not one go, obviously, but I can't take, like, giant breaks from it. Because, like, you can change your... Oh, shit. Um, you can change your class. Did you get... You, you probably didn't get that far, right? No, only, like, four hours or so on. Yeah. You can change your- oh my god, you can change your class. If I remember something correctly about the ending, then this is the way that no! my- No! <laughs> that was terrible! Uh, oh. If I remember correctly, isn't the ending tied to- What is it? You, you get like a romantic ending based on like the person that you spent the most time with? And then it happened to be like one of the most useful characters was an old man, so a lot of people got an ending where they're just like in bed with an old dude. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That sounds beautiful. That was my last checkpoint. And now you're gonna starve. A save a go? Oh, that sucks. I mean, I didn't do anything. So it's like it's like a fine checkpoint. Yeah. But it's weird. Are the auto saves not that good, or it's just all manual? No, I just I. Uh, uh, so you want to retry? I hit. I think retry probably would have put me at the door, which is why I should have pressed. So instead, I hit last checkpoint. Right. I guess it did technically send me to the last checkpoint. Okay. Which was before my save. This fucking asshole. Oh, uh, there are way 
too many dudes here at your... Shit. Oh, that's it. Boss room thing too. My friend told me. I don't, I don't remember a tank guy from Doom 2. I was actually getting, getting confused about that, because a lot of enemies from here are from original Doom 2. But I think that guy's inspired by... There's, it was like a tank boss in Doom 3. But he looked more human, so I have no idea. Alright, you know what? Charge, please. There we go. I love this fucking thing. Oh. See you like what? Warning. Warning. He's just picking the dude up. Hurt him, so he's not. He's not angry at me. Warning. Sorry, hurt him. He would be angry. <laughs> he go to jail. I remember one of the first times I, I, th I think it was the first time I played Dark Souls. I made the mistake of like just attacking one of the NPCs near the starting area, oh, and that just. Which one? Um, once you get out of the prison and you land near that uh, first bonfire. Apparently, apparently trying, yeah. Yeah, I, I screwed my game because that dude would just kill me the second I spawned. I couldn't do anything about oh, is it. Oh, is it the guy in the, the, the golden armor? Uh, I don't think it was golden. He's just a dude sitting there. It was like brownish. Or oh, brown. um... Uh, you, you, wind, you wind up having to fight him either way down <laughs> in the uh, Anna Orlando depths or whatever the sunken area is. Because yeah. he goes, yes, they... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You got that yeah. nail, dude. I thought you meant, um, old man who, uh, old man who, uh, takes the, the, the firekeeper's soul. Oh, no. Please give it back to her. Here's an upgrade to your flasks. Have you ever been in Dark Souls game without looking up any piece of advice? Like, as in, no. like, where to go? No. And that's on purpose, by the way. That's by design. They want you to engage with the community. Yep. I like how even for the DLC, they don't give a fuck. They're like, I don't know, you gotta figure out how to access the content you just paid for. Those D I, I don't remember... Is that the same for the other three? I know it's definitely the case for two. Okay. Well, I don't think it's as up to probably isn't as obtuse as it is for one though. I one, it's fucking obtuse. I don't remember one as much because I've only beat it once on the DLC once, but two I've played through like two, three times. Uh, there's very specific items you have to do and talk to characters and it, so it's a little bit on the obtuse side, I would say. Alright, so let me remind you what you have to do, okay? Alright. When you when you, you, do you remember the place where you fight Hovel? Hovel the Rock? Vaguely. Yeah, you get Hovel's Ring, one of the most useful items in the entire game. Mm hmm. That's the one that lets you walk through poison faster. No, or... that's, the, no that's the one that basically, I think one that basically e just puts up the, your equip load. Okay. So, you can, so in places that you would like medium roll, you light roll. Mm hmm. Yeah. Whenever I play a Dark Souls game, I just try to go with the fastest roll and speed as possible armor. Be yeah, damned. but I mean, that's why Hobble's ring is so good. Because <laughs> you can keep it and have good armor. Um, well, yeah, um, what am I saying? Uh, so, yeah, by the Hydra. So that, you leave the door, and then there's the Hydra. Right? Mm -hmm. And then there's that place out next to the Hydra that you have to follow the edge for. And then you kill a 
golden, like crystal golem, and it drops like a handkerchief, mm -hmm. and then Shit, what are you doing? It's, you have to go to the the Duke's archives, I think, and then I think there's another item you have to get from a golem from a golem that won't fight you in the front of the Duke's archives and then you can teleport to the DLC. Uh, I'm probably mixed up a bunch of that. How many times have you beat Dark Souls 1? Once. Once. So then you remember I've this seen, much better than me and I played I've it seen, somewhat I've seen recently. It quite a bit. How do I access my health? I've seen it beaten a lot. <laughs> it's stupid. How do they think that will work? Oh, you have to get something to put me. It's on the strider. Oh, the BFG is so good Wait. in here. Yeah. Let me show you the moment I was like, oh, this game is dope as fuck. I had to do that, alright. <laughs> Did you take actual damage from that, or that's just a nice little blow? Yeah, I took, I took actual damage. Okay. Change vocation to uh, not sorcerer. I know one of my Mystic favorite, Knight. one of my favorite things to do in uh, Grand Theft Auto. If you jump and then you press the uh, reload button, your guy will just like do a fucking dive and just smack against everything. Headbutt a car if you want to. Yeah, warrior. It's, she's she's a uh, guts. I go in here. Oh, it's open. Duh. I don't know what the fuck is over there. Welcome to hell. I would like to think I have a good brain for where developers hide shit. Because my immediate thought is, oh, the objective is still left. I'm gonna go right, because there's obviously something fucking over there. They would not put this much effort into making this part of the map if nothing was there. Be surprised. Yeah, some games are pretty wasteful. Let's see, where the fuck is that totem? At? I should just read it though. As oh, there was supposed to be something here. That also. I need ammo. this fucking totem at? Shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Over there? There he is. Point trying to kill these guys are just gonna fucking re res. Let's get this guy. Shit. 
Charge. Four and you five, so an extra guy. How's everyone in your house holding up with the uh, quarantine? Oh, good, good, good. I know. Well, people finally stopped leaving, so that's yeah. Good. I finally convinced my family to chill the fuck out on that. I know my sister in particular is uh, dying because uh, she's usually always out of the house, so she's bored out of her mind. She actually wants to learn guitar now. Cool. Which I'm more than happy to show. Oh, there is the entrance. Fucking... Aside from my girlfriend, it's just been basically business as usual, just playing games. Yep, the same. So what were your thoughts on Doom 2016? Oh, that was a really good game. I would say if you're not massively into shooters, this might be a bit fast. But if you have to pick like a shooter to play, this would probably be it. Versus like a Call of Duty or whatever. Yeah, I, I think I think this guy was a parry. Oh, I love parry. I oh, I, I, love I never parried in Dark Souls. I said fuck that. Oh, Raja. How do we aid her? We well, never parried in Dark Souls one. Nope. I just blocked That's your like dodge. The game. That's like the game parry is like the most useful. I just never did it. That's why Sekiro was so hard for me at first. Oops. Well, I mean, at least for Sekiro, it's the same button. It's just the timing. Why am I so heavy? What the fuck? Oh, that's not gonna copper ore. How's my uh, stream coming out to you? Is, is it? Yeah, it's smooth. Two, okay. One. I knew yours was a little pixely, so I was thinking maybe that's just like a Discord thing. It's just gonna because um the the nature of how fast it's coming to you is practically real time. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So. It's gonna be more pixely more often just because of that fact. Right. Um than like YouTube or Discord or, or, or Twitch. Mm-hmm. Um 
But you know, as long as everything was still like, legible. Mm -hmm. Oh, found a secret. Uh, this is one way to circumvent it of, uh. Have, uh, stream lag. Keeping it tiny. Keeping it tiny. Mm hmm. It's pretty much the only thing on the screen that's updating, so. What capture card do you have? Um, I actually just bought the Aver Media. Uh, fuck, I forget the model. It's uh, but it's 4K 60 HDR pass through for up is to 4K a, 30 uh, recording, or it's, it or a, 1080 60. Is it um, <clears throat> is it a uh, PCIe one or is it a device? It's a device. P okay. PCIe. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard, but I'm already kind of pushing my PSU. So I figured let's just get an external one. Plus, so that way, if I need to take it to go, I can. That's true. I love my little guy. I've had him since, like, 2013, I think. Which one do you have again? The Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Okay. Yeah, I, I have um, an, an Elgato on my desk, but that's only 1080 30. Yep, same. And I was like, if, I, if I'm going to be playing Doom, I still want to enjoy it on my... 4K TV at 4K. It's uh, it'll be it, pass throughs at 1080 60, no problem. It's just the it records 720 60 or 1080 30. Yeah, I mean, I, I still wanted the um, yeah, that full resolution. One of the good things, one of the cool things about it though, I will, I do think, I do like is that it can record by itself. Mm hmm. This needs power. No PC and required. No, you, you just put an SDR, uh, SD card into it, and then hit the button and it records. You, and you, you can ch you can choose whether or not you want 1080, 30, 720, 30, or 720, 60. Mm -hmm. But streaming 30, sorry, streaming 60 is stupid on it. In what way? I have to go through an entirely separate like program. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. I forget what resolution I'm streaming out as. I think I'm just doing 720, because that's what's recommended for performance, at least. That's fine. 720 is more than enough. Like I said, especially if it's like a shooter. Ping, ping. <laughs> oh. Whatever. Oh, sweet. Look it on ammo relatively. Still huh? Yeah. Still oh, can do what I can, I can still show you um if you if you if you are interested I can show you fighting game stuff to a program called fight cage that'd be cool yeah. I can show you all the street side of stuff learn me master since you don't since since you know you don't own the more modern ones that I own, mm -hmm. and that would be a, a bit of an ask to, for you to buy them. <laughs> How you play well, it, isn't Street oh, Fighter fun. Five? Didn't it launch as like free to play, or no? It was like very limited. No. I think they're, they they have pretty frequent free, free weekends, but. Um, I doubt free weekends are happening anytime soon because they usually are to coincide with the tournament. Mm hmm. And. Yeah. All tournaments <laughs> have been cancelled, so. Well, they just do it online. Well, I guess more subject to cheating if they can't actively monitor people. No, it's just. Fighting games. 
you need to be done. Online is really hard for finding game. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't want like any amount of latency whatsoever. Even the best net code possible for an online fighting game still is second to still is significantly second to offline. Right. And Street Fighter Five's net code is weird. <clears throat> Like just bad, or it has some weird quirks to it. It's super weird. Have you ever enjoyed like a burger from like a fast food restaurant? In the moment, yes. Afterwards, no. I mean, yeah, not, 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 I just mean like in general, you know, like you liked it, right? Yes. You enjoyed it. You had a good time with it. Mm -hmm. You know, you may even get it again when, 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 when tasked with it, you know? Right. Well, imagine Shit. if, oh, there's a big boy over there. Now, uh, are restaurant burgers better? Mm hmm. Does that negate how good this negate the enjoyment you had from that fast food burger? Not necessarily. Yeah. And aren't there things that are significantly worse? Yes. Or would you call it good? Would you call would you um would you uh would you still oh Jesus, that was fast. Um would you still call the fast food burger good? Uh, by matter of comparison, or like in, in the moment you in, enjoyed in general, it, in the general, whether or not you enjoyed it's it, it's not. You call it good. It's not great. I mean, it's it's okay. You just that's that's Street Fighter Five net code right there. You just did it. <laughs> See, I knew you were going the whole time, but then I got really philosophical. I'm like, how do I feel about this burger? Why have you never done this before? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, there's way too much shit going on. So, like... So, there's a whole... There's a whole thing with, um... Fight, fighting game netcode, right? Because mm -hmm. one of the big problems with the fighting game industry is the netcode. They're kind of super behind on it. They've been behind on it for years. Right? And they haven't really seen a need to innovate because people are just going to do local anyway? Not that people do local. It's just that majority of the video fighting game makers live in one specific country right? where the internet's amazing. Mm -hmm. And so in this country, where the internet's less amazing, they don't really get that there's less of a need. Right. I mean, there's less of a need where they are. The Japanese internet's pretty damn good. Right. Um, what was I saying? <sighs> so so basically the the, the standard net code for finding games and is 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 called rollback. Sorry, okay. I messed that up. It's called delay. It's delay based net code, which basically basically you look at that person's connection between you and that person. Mm -hmm. You un you learn its latency, you figure out what the latency is. Right. And then you just delay every input by that amount. That seems a little weird. And so it'll be like, like um, um, like, it's like Dragon Ball, like Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, I often play with a, a two frame latency. Mm -hmm. Is that just an option oh. you you can do, or no? That's just that's just that's just what you have to deal stuff. with. That's just what the connection is. Yeah. Okay. The two frame latency, meaning that when I press a button. My character actually acts two frames after the game received the input. Mm -hmm. um, there's a second, there's another option called rollback. Mm -hmm. And what rollback does is that it, can, it basically uses um, prediction to figure out what you're going to do and then just kind of um, 
um, mimic it in certain moments. So that in places where there's like a sudden, a big jump in in uh, in uh, latency, mm -hmm. where in a delay based netcode, you would go from like I've had this happen to me before, where you go from two frames to ten frames. Oh like, wow! Bat. And then it slowly goes back to two, but just because there was a hiccup in the network, right? Right. With, with rollback, that hiccup would would be absorbed, and you wouldn't really notice it. Okay. Um, there's a lot of technical stuff with it. Um, essentially, that's it. Um, and then, uh, what am I saying? Um, so with, um, with the delay-based netcode, um, um, Alright, so, yeah, Street Fighter V. So Street Fighter V uses netcode, uses, uh, rollback netcode, while the majority of Japanese devs use the delay-based. Delay However, they have bad rollback netcode. Okay. Which can feel worse than delay-based. Is it just because it's delaying connection. more frames, or...? No, because it, um... So what, the biggest problem is, like, uh... It's gonna be, like, uh... Um, teleporting? Mm-hmm. Like, stuttering? Um, that's gonna be the biggest issue, is that enemies... I mean, um... People just teleporting in front of you. Mm -hmm. Doing things that you could have never possibly have seen. Um, being not the best experience, right? Right. Um, however, I will admit, uh, there was a recent update to the netcode that did make it a little bit better, but not quite better, not quite all the way better. And mm -hmm. there's a new patch coming out in a few days that will hopefully make it even better. Okay. Trials and tribulations are coming in the last couple of months here. You're gonna be fucking Phoenix right PTSD. Step it. get fucking tired from wearing headphones because of um because of glasses mm. so just on top of regular fucking headphone soreness mm. i'm really lucky they got these headphones i'm wearing right now they're pretty comfortable the cushions are nice the only problem is that because they're open back it's really easy for sounds to leak through and get picked up on my microphone. Right. Like the way I'm doing it right now, I have um, my audio for the game coming through as a monitor. So I'm basically just using my PC speakers. But because of how I mixed it, I can't hear it too well anymore. Fucking warm as shit in my room. something up over here. Uh, 
how do I get to you? Why did I prioritize that? That was a dumb move, but I'll get the other one eventually anyway, I guess. Tired, I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna pop off and do a bunch of things. Alright. Have a good night, man. Good night. Close out that window since Mesa is off. Save myself some resources. Oops. Oh, you know what? I need to close that out too. Call. Alright, and now let's turn this off. Up there, so where we can drop. See, these buildings are not connected, so I don't think going over there will help any of them at all. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna come back for it. Oh, there we go. There's a frickin' opening. That's pretty fucking metal. Get and you. Won't really be able to come back up once I drop down, so I better figure this out unless there's that shoot right here Can't I climb this? My frickin' ears are killing me. Can't do the headphones right now. I'm getting tired. Oh, I'm gonna call it a stream at nine. Whatever. Sue me. Play some more tomorrow. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, four. Not enough to do my thingy. Doesn't mean we can't have fun though. Shit. I never went back to the key. I need to fucking do that before. I'm an idiot. Let's 
go back. I have plenty of upgrades I need to use. Yep, that is a tip that I give myself. Uh, it's useful that they give these here, even though it's something you should probably find out by yourself. If you see BFG ammo nearby, that might mean you can afford to shoot the gun. Basically, I do not use this gun unless there's available ammo around. I want to keep it at full capacity, just in the off chance I actually need to use it. Let's see, let's upgrade this guy. I'm going to get a challenge. Kill at least three enemies 15 times with the destroyer blade. Okay. Basically what I'm doing for the machine gun except more and it's actually a little bit easier to do with this. Does it say three or five? I think it was three. Let me double check. Save myself the headache later on. Oh, incremental blade. Fire and sh your blades before they have reached maximum width. Oh, okay, so you can fire midway if you have to. That's not incredibly useful, but it's nice to have. Let's see. There we go. Dope. Alright, just need to do this thing one more time, then we can move on to the crossbow. See, this is like a normal, traditional key versus the freaking gore ones. can suck my freaking giant nut. The fuck are you, a turret? Shit. Come on, let me get stop cornering me. See I haven't even run into those in the base gameplay yet. be as much of a wiener as the boss version. Come on, go! Leave me the fuck alone! Dude, it's you in particular that are being a fucking asshole. Oh. Fuck, I need to get it just the right medium range, but it's hard to tell on the fly. Or just use grenades a lot. Fuck you. 
I'm not good at fighting this guy. It's okay, I can just use rockets, hopefully. Yep, rockets are the way to go. Ta-da! These levels are freaking long. Those are so much bigger than 2016. Oh, it's still fucking going. It's technically the same level. Holy shit. Went from the moon to the facility to a meteor to hell. Because everything's merging, apparently. We are going to beat this level, and then I'm going to take my well-deserved break. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a quick break. Be back in turn.
we are back. Let's try to beat this level. I say I found a secret already. That's dope. No, it's just a regular entrance. All right, so should be able to forward another power up. Oh, just. See, I still need that minigun challenge, so if I can, let's try to get that going. So I, okay, one more soft enemy. No, 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 no. One soft enemy. There we go. Now we can just go fucking ham on everybody. Without a care in the world. Trying to get kills with this guy. Just need to line three dudes up. Okay, definitely keep them on the same horizontal plane. Charge, charge, charge. Oh, you are. So got the freaking bottom half. Shit. Uh, running low on ammo. you guys together. Nope, not good enough. So let's just kill this guy and be done with it. This feels like I'm nearing the end because it looks pretty sweet. And I don't want to say this game feels short because it's not. But at the same time, I would not be entirely disappointed if it did. I need to just use this. about low ammo I thought I had a shot 
Okay, so I can't use the super thing, whatever. So I will... No, wrong one. 